that's true again. It's a strange relationship. Bear with me, it's a strange relationship. Built up with this tree and this field. Just about every field around this area has been harvested apart from this one field. Now, a guy I met about a month ago turned up, David, lovely bloke. He said this field is owned by one farmer, or should I say, a farmer owns this one single field and it's ready to be harvested. Now when I come here and it has been harvested, it's going to be not traumatic, I'm not going to over egg it, but it's going to be very strange to have this field barren and being prepared for the next crop, which I hope will be rapeseed next year. One thing I've realised in the time I've been coming in here, and I think I've been coming here every weekend for the last eight weeks, is that I think the first photograph, or should I say a photograph, from the first time I came here may be the best photograph I've managed so far. I'll pop it on the screen now just so you can see. What sets it off is that little curved blade of grass in the front. If I was to, to push it I would say it's probably amongst the best three I've managed to get here. And I'll pop these up. I'll also pop a few that haven't worked seem to work or I thought work at the time. Yeah, sometimes you see a photograph on the back of the screen and it doesn't quite marry up with what you see on the screen when you get back home because you're in the moment. I've mentioned I've talked about that before and one thing that Dave mentioned is about when you see a photograph you compose your photograph, you take it, you get back home and it's not quite what you envisioned. And he mentioned it, it he mentioned a montage. The picture you see or you think you see in the back is good. It, it's a montage of, of the experiences you go through while you're right. while you're taking that photograph. It's a collection of the separate images you've taken. Wonderful way of thinking about it. Yeah, when I arrive here have been harvested it's going to be bloody awful. The good thing about coming back to this scene is that I've realised and I know exactly where to stand to get the great composition. There aren't many places you can get and the places you can get seem to be well worn. I think there's probably the, probably I think there's one here for a wider shot but the tree doesn't blend a little into the background unless you get Quite low down, it doesn't work as well, but the side ones have the better compositions and better, better compositions. You can get a head on one down there, but it doesn't quite work as well as the side one. So there are only a couple of compositions you can get here, which is good. So I'll pack up for now. If this is rapeseed next year, if this is rapeseed next year, this will be glorious. Absolutely glorious. A lot of contrails this morning. So that's made up from here. Yeah, what a tree. Getting here in winter with snow. Oh, that'll be lovely. I've mentioned it before, we're a bloody strange bunch. Anyway guys, see ya. Good morning, now I'm not a spiritual man, but that was spiritual. Sun is just rising. I've been here since half past twelve, which is half past four. One, two, three, four, five. So I've been here five hours. Yeah, that took a lot of maths. That was amazing it really was absolutely wonderful 
arrived in the pitch black set my camera up in the first place I set it up when I arrived seems like many months ago but it was about 12 weeks sat down laid back watched the meteor shower Always good to get a balanced view. It wasn't all good. I expected a shower. I got more of a smattering. I think I saw about eight meteors. That said, they were absolutely amazing. Now I've seen meteors before, but it's the odd one that burns up very quickly. It's not very bright. These were very, very bright. Eight I saw also saw about six um, asteroids asteroids shooting stars some oh, that sun's moving at a very fast rate it's just about cleared of the horizon as you can see no clouds hopefully the sun will cast some colour on the field as you can see and as I've said it has been harvested Dave's over there arranging the bales looks very different I'm back here but I won't be back here for a while I suspect it's been harvested it's lost a lot of the interest that there was in the field namely the crops which was wheat probably back here over the coming years when the crops change and maybe when it snows which will be nice boom risen Yeah, we're at we're night, we're at night, five hours I've been up, I'll be on for half past six, sneaking to bed. Yeah, I hope those who were out got some nice... ...some meteors, and I did. That was uh, did all go well. The time lapse I did, I had it set at seven second intervals. I completely missed that. I thought the one second delay was the interval, which it wasn't. So that won't be a very good start trail. 40 minutes. Yeah. I'll put it together just so I can see what it looked like. But I think one of the frames I got one of the comets going just above the tree and towards the tail not the tail, towards the head of the comet it's much brighter so it looks really nice I did another time lapse over there see what that's like that see what that's lo that looks like Oh, it's going to be a long day today. Anyway, I've just about exhausted this field. I'm going to get in some colour, so I'll catch you soon. Ta-da!